Hello students, you are warmly welcome to my YouTube channel Education WMH. In this video, I am going to discuss a grade 9 second term test paper for mathematics. So I invite you to subscribe my channel and watch my videos. First question, general term of a number pattern is Tn equals 5n minus 8. Find the seventh term of it. When we want to find, find the seventh term of this number pattern, we have to substitute 7 for the general term. So, Tn equals 5 multiplied by 7 minus 8. 35 minus 8. So, the answer is 27. Seventh term is 27. Then in second one, Simplify. We are given these uh, two binary numbers to add. 1, 1, 0, 1. Then 1, 0, 1, 0. We have to add the two binary numbers. 1, 0 equals 1. Then 0, 1 also equals 1. 1, 0 equals 1. 1 plus 1 equals 1, 0. We can write it like this. So, this will be the answer of the addition. Then in third question, a discount of 30 rupees is given when selling a shirt worth 600 rupees. Calculate the discount percentage. Uh, discount, uh, discount comes for the numerator, numerator. If you write the fraction here, then Denominator is the worth of the shirt that is 600. Then they should be multiplied by 100% to take and convert it into a percentage. So uh, 600 times 1, then 600 times 6, then 30 divided by 6 is 5%. Then question number 4 simplify. We are given uh, these. Two fractions, 2 over 3 of 1, 1 over 5. If you simplify this, 2 over 3 of means a multiplication. Then you have to convert this mixed number into a improper fraction. 5 times 1, 5, one, 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 over 5. Then we can uh, simplify the common terms here. 3 times 1, 3 times 2. Then what is the answer now? 2 times 2 is 4, 5 times 1 is 5. So 4 over 5 is the answer. Then uh, in the fifth one, we are given this diagram. Find the value of x. Uh, these three angles are located on a straight line. We know that the sum of the angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. So we can write 2x plus 80 equal to 180 degrees. Then 2x equal to 180 minus 80 is 100. Then x equal to 100 divided by 2 50 degrees. This is the answer. Question number 6. Write suitable values for blanks. x minus 3 times x plus 5 equal to x squared plus blank times x minus blank. Now if you uh, take the multiplication of the uh, two uh, terms here. x, x into x is x squared. Then x times plus 5 is plus 5x. Then uh, minus 3 times x is minus 3x. If you add the two terms, plus 5x and minus 3x, you get plus 2x. So plus 2 uh, comes for the first blank here. Then in the second blank, minus 3 times plus 5, that is minus 15. So minus 15 should be written in the second blank. Then question number 7. If a car which travel at a uniform speed goes 210 kilometers in 3 hours, 
what is the distance it goes in 5 hours for 3 hours it goes uh, 210 kilometers then we want to find in 5 hours 210 divided by 3 multiplied by 5 3 times 1 3 times 70 then this should be multiplied by 5 that is 350 kilometers then in 8 question number 8 we are given this to simplify 3x 3x to the power 5 then to the power 2 here this second power um, should be uh, taken for the two term 3 and x squared term so 3 uh, to the power 2 we have to expand like, uh, like this 3 to the power 2 multiplied by x to the power 5 into 2 is 10 so what is the answer now if you simplify this 3, uh, 3 to the power 2 is 9 9 x squared x to the power 10 is the answer then question number 9 the order in which the keys need to be pressed to express 3 over 4 as a percentage is given below. Fill in the blanks. Uh, first you have to uh, press on, then 3, then uh, division, then 4. Then you have to press the shift key. Shift key, then the uh, equal sign, then again the equal sign. Shift First blank, shift key and the second one is question number 10. In the figure, lines A, B and C, D are parallel. If K, L, M angle, K, L, M angle equals 60 degrees and L, R, M, L, L, K, M, L, K, M angle equals 50 degrees, find the magnitude of D, K, M angle. D, K, M. Uh, if you consider the diagram here, the angles DKL and KLM are allied angles. We know that the sum of the allied angles are angles is 180 degrees. So uh, we can write the equation like this. We want DKM. DKM. DKM angle plus 50 plus 60 equal to 180 degrees. Then DKM angle equal to here the addition is 110. 180 minus 110 that is 70 degrees. Then question number 11. Write the following numbers in general form. First one, 7.871 multiplied by 10 to the power 2. 10 to the power 2 means uh, 100. So when you multiply by 100, the decimal point goes two places to the right side. So the answer for the first one is 787.1. Then in second one, uh, 7, uh, 7.871 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2. That means decimal point goes 2 places to the left side. So the answer will be 0 0.07871. Then in 12, uh, question number 12. Make x the subject of the formula y equals mx plus c y equals mx plus c. First we have to remove this plus c. For that I am uh, subtracting 3 from both sides. M y minus c equals mx plus c minus c. Then plus c and minus c can be removed. Then y minus c equals mx. Now we want to subject x here. Uh, we, ha uh, we have to divide both sides by m. Then m and m can be removed. Then x equals y minus c over m. 
Question number 13. What is the distance travelled by a wheel with a radius 35 centimeters when rotating uh, one round along a flat rod? When rotating one round, the wheel travels a distance that is similar to the circumference of the wheel. So we have to find the circumference here. To find the circumference, we can use this formula. C equals 2 phi r. 2 multiplied by 22 over 7. Then what is the radius here? 35. 7 times 1, then 7 times 5. If you multiply this, you get uh, 220. 220, what is the unit here? Uh, unit is centimeters. Then question number 14. When a certain number is rounded off to the nearest 10, the answer is 60. What is the least and the greatest value that it, this number can take? Uh, the least value is uh, 55. Least value is 55. And the greatest value, greatest value is 64. Least value 55. And the greatest one is 64. Then question number 15. What is the maximum amount of water that can be put into a, a cuboid shaped tank with a length 30 centimeters, uh, breadth 20 centimeters and the height 15 centimeters? We can uh, find the volume of the water. Uh, by using this uh, length, breadth and height. Length is 30. Then breadth is 20 and height is 15. So if you multiply this one, you get the volume of the tank. Uh, 15 times 2 is 30. Then 30 times uh, 3 is 90. Then you can put two zeros here, then this is the volume. Then uh, in milliliters, we can write it as 9000 milliliters. That means 9 liters. That is the maximum amount of water that you can put into this tank. Then uh, question number 16. If P equals 4 and Q equals minus 1 over 3, find the value of 5p minus 9q. 5 multiplied by p is 4. Then 9 multiplied by 1 over 3. 5 multiplied by 4 is 20. Then if you uh, simplify this one, 3 times 1, 3 times 3. Then 3 times 1 is 3. Then the answer will be 17. Question number 17. According to the information given in the figure, find the value of x. We are given the three angles of, uh, of the triangle as x, 2x and the other one is 90. This is a right angle triangle. So we can use x plus 2x plus 90 is equal to 180. Then 3x is equal to 90 here. Then x equals 90 divided by 3, 30 degrees. Then question number 18. Radius of a circle is 6.74 centimeters. Round off this value to first one nearest first decimal place. If you want to round off uh, to the nearest first decimal place, uh, we have to consider the second decimal place here. Here, uh, if I uh, highlight it from another color, we have to consider the second decimal place. That is less than 5. So, we are uh, rounding off to 7 here. 
If it is greater than 5, we have to round off to 8. The first decimal place. So, in the first one, the answer is 6.7. Then in second one, nearest centimeter. To the nearest centimeter. Now, we have to consider this uh, first decimal place. As it is rounded off to the nearest whole number. So, uh, that is greater than 5. So, we are rounding off this 6 to 7. 7 centimeters is the answer. Then, uh, question number 19. When it is given that A plus B equals 180 and 80 degrees and B plus C equals 180 degrees, what is the conclusion that you can arrive at using axioms? If A plus B equals 180 degrees, then B plus C equals 180 degrees. Uh, then uh, we can uh, decide A plus B. A plus B equals B plus C. Then uh, as the same number is added uh, in both sides, then we can conclude A equals C. That is the last conclusion that we can take and hear. Then question number 20, last one. Find the value using the factors. 99 squared minus 1. Here 1 can be also written as 1 squared. So we can um, write this one as um, 99 minus 1. 99, we can use the uh, difference of two squares here. 99 minus 1 times 99 plus 1. 99 minus 1 is 98 multiplied by 100. So the answer is 9800.